Yo, what's up? This is Shadi NYC. I'm a photographer from the Bronx, New York City. In photography, it's a good idea to go beyond the boilerplate conventional standards of beauty. Beauty extends further than a symmetrical face and a sick fashion look. Here's five tips on how and why to choose unique subjects. Tip number one. Look for features that tell some type of story, whether that's a tattoo or a scar or a very cute mole. These are different ways to identify one subject from the next, and they're usually something that helps convey some type of depth to the image, like I said, through storytelling. Tip number two, make sure to acknowledge and respect the features that you're highlighting in your images. You wanna make sure that if you're highlighting a prominent feature that it doesn't come off cartoonish or you don't want your subject to feel like they're being made fun of. You want them to feel empowered and seen by the uh, images that you create. So take a little time and be thoughtful about how it is that you're gonna photograph a particular individual that has unique characteristics. Tip number three, make sure to use lighting or surrounding elements to help emphasize whatever it is you're trying to focus on in the image. For instance, if somebody has a face with strong features, a prominent jaw, you wanna use hard lighting to help create more shadows and highlights, and this will emphasize that particular you know, area of whatever it is that you're trying to shoot. Let's say you're shooting somebody that has pale skin. Maybe throwing them against a black background, something that gives nice contrast, will help bring out that feature more. So those are some of the things that I'm speaking of. Tip number four. If your subject has insecurities, try your best not to disregard them. If you want to gain their trust, it's very important that you understand where they're coming from, and then that can help you find a solution for them in order to make them feel comfortable and to let you get the best image. Tip number five, understand your equipment and what it does and the effects that it has on your subject. For instance, different lenses with different focal lengths will make your image appear in different ways while you're shooting. So if you understand what your final outcome of the project is gonna be, make sure that your lens is something that can help you get there. So I hope you enjoy those tips and I hope it empowers you to go out and take tons of photos that are different, new, and refreshing. Those are the type of photos that I like to look at, so I look forward to seeing yours. You can find me on Instagram at shoddynyc. Also, check me out on my website, shoddy.nyc, S-H-O-T-T-I. Bye.